award-winning documentary filmmaker Tadashi Nakamura hasn't always considered himself an artist. Born and raised in a Japanese-American community in Los Angeles, Tadashi says he was an athlete in high school whose only interest was sports. It wasn't until he took a documentary film course as an undergraduate at UCLA that he discovered his interest in filmmaking. When I was on campus, this mixture of, of hip-hop or art and activism and social consciousness was really emerging. And um, like I said, I had, I had no artistic ability uh, then. Um, the issue, you know, it was more the, the purpose behind the art that was attractive to, to me. But, you know, I, I can't play any instrument, I can't draw. Um, poetry, couldn't, couldn't stand that. And so, um, and I couldn't rap or DJ or break dance like the rest of my friends. So it was actually, um, I was actually began to search for an art form that I could provide and kind of what I could bring to this table of student activism. Everyone has a skill and a talent, and um, I think a lot. Some people are supported and encouraged a lot more than others, but I think eventually you do stumble upon what you're good at or what you like to do, and um, and. For me, uh, it was you know finding filmmaking as a craft and then utilizing it to to what makes me happy, which is um, creating social change. By searching within his own personal and cultural history, Tadashi's work explores themes of empowerment and community. His films span the range from the impact of a self-help group turned basketball team that began in the 1960s to the story of an abandoned internment camp where his father, grandparents, and thousands of other Japanese Americans were unjustly imprisoned during World War II. His film trilogy, Yellow Brotherhood, Pilgrimage, and A Song for Ourselves, celebrates the early Asian American movement in the hopes of inspiring young people to continue to work for social justice. Everyone, I mean, I think in this country, especially as an artist, um, there's a lot of pressure for you to succeed, you know, for you to get into Sundance, for you as a filmmaker to make millions of dollars or sign that five-picture deal. Um, but no one really encourages you or puts pressure on you to uplift your community or to really serve um, either your family, your neighborhood, or your larger ethnic group. And um, I think for me, um, you know, striving for social change kind of includes a much larger group of people than just myself. But Tadashi recognizes that art is just a catalyst. Real social change requires action. As a filmmaker, the most that my film can do is, is inspire people to go out and create that change, but I don't think a film or a song can create that change on its own. The main change is going to happen when people actually step outside and, and work for it. Whether you live on the you know, good part of town or the bad part of town, I think everyone has uh, networks and everyone has uh, potential to really influence someone else. And I think that's how mass movements start, um, that it won't work unless it happens at the ground level. And for Tadashi Nakamura, grassroots activism starts with understanding your cultural roots, the roots of ordinary people who, when they come together with a common vision, can do the extraordinary.